Now, once you have the state arrow family loaded into your project file, you can go find it in your project browser under the family category and it will be under detail items. So this is the raw metric state arrow. And this is the arrow uh, family we're going to use for doing the arrow graphic in the stairwell. So I'm just going to drag it in here. I can just snap to the midpoint of this uh, riser here and drag it down about halfway into the landing then go pick again go this way and then go up this way pick this point from the arrowhead and go up this way roughly here now what i'm going to do is hit modify twice and then i'm going to go in here i'm going to turn off in the property instant property i turn off the arrowhead and i'm going to select this arrow and then turn off the head and the tail and then on this one i'm just going to turn off the tail symbol so it looks like one continuous line with the arrowhead. Now I'm going to click on this and go create similar again. I'm going to snap to this point of the riser and then drag it down this way. And then I'm going to hit modify twice and finish. Now in this case, I want to have the tail symbol on. So it look better with that little uh, cross and the circle at the end here. Now I'm going to do the break. Uh, line here i'm going to use a mass region so i'm going to go to annotate and select region select mass region now i'm going to use um, medium thin line so i'm just going to trace this break line basically and i'm just going to copy this from here, roughly further down to here. Maybe move it back a little bit, it's a bit too far apart. I'm gonna go use invisible line to finish the boundary. Oops, I think I need to select the wrong line. So I'm gonna highlight these two line and then change it to invisible line. Okay, it looks like these are not medium thin line. So I'm going to change this back to medium thin line. I'm going to click the green check mark to finish the mass region. Maybe I need to move this mass a little bit further to the left, to the right here. Maybe a little bit further. And then maybe just adjust the arrowhead a little bit further forward and this one too. And now I'm going to place the up and down label. So I use the text command. So I'm going to go to annotate, select text and make sure you use the right size, two millimeter bottom. This here, I'm going to say this is uh, down. And then copy this from here to here and change it to up. Now I'm going to turn these graphic into a group so I can actually paste it into a different level floor plan. So I'm going to use a window, select a whole bunch of things, we use filter. I'm going to check none. I just want to have the text and the detail items. Apply, select OK, and I pick on a group. So this is going to be called state arrow. Select OK. You can see the origins in the middle. I don't want origin in the middle. I just want origin to be at the lower left corner of the stairwell. So it's easier to align with the other level. So that's how you do the stair arrow in a stairwell. Now, once you have the arrow and the mass region uh, set up, so you can click on the group and we can copy it to the clipboard and then we can paste it to the other level. So paste to selected view. So we can select it uh, level two and then hold down control four, five, six, seven, eight. And whatever other level you feel that it should have these stay arrow, you can just select 
the level you want and then select OK. So if I go to level 5, you will see the same arrow group line up perfectly in the stairwell.